What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite dry haircutting techniques called the stroking technique. I'm going to be cutting a long bob haircut so that will be the end result. Let's get into the sectioning and then I'll teach you guys the technique. So I'm going straight down, center back, from the occipital bone over to behind the ear. Really just section off a nice little triangle section in the back of the head and then I start in the nape taking vertical sections and now we're going to get into the stroking technique. We're going to be doing this the entire haircut cut so I really want you guys to watch my fingers how I work this technique it's a full open of the scissor and then I just half close it in so we're doing a little bit of a, a hybrid tease cutting stroking technique in the beginning of this cut and then we're going full stroking technique once we get above that occipital bone so working through half close of the scissor everything is being over directed to the previous section we're starting to push a little bit of weight behind the ear and I just keep working my way over to the side same technique watch my fingers study it and then we'll get into it i'm also using a dry cutting scissor this is the matt beck edition hasn't even been released yet guys so get excited about it hopefully it'll be out soon uh, but it's created by mizutani scissors so just working through keep watching uh, keep seeing what i'm doing with my hands So now that we finished the bottom part from the occipital bone down, we're going to be working up the head shape. Things are going to change a little bit. The stroking technique is going to go into full effect. I'm going to be fully closing the scissor on the hair. It creates a really nice point cut effect to it, but I also get a nice precision feel and a softer line uh, as I'm working. So everything comes straight out just like before, but I'm cutting from the top down. And when I open and when I lift up the scissor, I open. And when I come down, I close on the hair so really what I would suggest for you guys is either find a mannequin find somebody that you don't like whatever it is and then practice this technique over and over again don't even worry about the outcome worry about the technique part of it so you can really tear up a mannequin if you want to just going through the different reps and just getting the practice in uh, to learn this technique so you can see over direction straight back. This is very typical of what I would do when I cut a long bob uh, in any fashion. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing weight to the front. So I do that full over direction back. I do the stroking technique. We're gonna be working uh, from bottom up. Like I said, there's no difference in that. It's just really, am I closing the scissor or am I doing more of that tease cutting that we did at the very beginning? This is a full close of the scissor, full over direction back, not to the center back, but just straight back off the ear uh, towards my body. And I I just continue working through the right hand side the same and then I'll share with you guys what I do in the front. So you'll notice pretty much after every section, when I'm cutting dry hair, I go in and I smooth it out with a smoothing iron. Uh, the reason for that is because I want to see the shape forming on the dry hair. With wet hair, you can kind of see the shape happening. With dry hair, it can get a little bit frizzy, especially if you're cutting things quite a bit shorter. So um, I go in with the smoothing iron and I just smooth it out. Uh, I'm gonna get some questions. That was the Dyson Corral iron uh, that's out on the market now by Dyson. So you guys can check that out online um, that's not what this video is about so going through I'm gonna cut a side fringe now using the stroking technique again uh, it's super great technique for creating a soft textured look so I over direct the hair to the opposite side of the head using diagonal forward partings and I just do that stroking technique to kind of work my way through now I'm gonna show you guys a different view here this is the over top so you can kind of see the line that it creates in my fingers so it has a precision feel to it but it's very very broken and what that does is it creates it's a nice soft feeling uh, so a lot of those clients that feel like they get a heavy fringe or a heavy face frame this is a great technique for that so now you can see that uh, shape that we created in the back using the technique and I go through I do a little bit of point cutting around the edge just to finalize everything a little bit of slide cutting on the sides just to define uh, the face frame area a little bit 
blow it dry just to kind of get those loose hairs out of there. And then I add a nice uh, dry wax by Joyco. I spray that in there and you can see that texture, that volume. Uh, that's another thing about this haircut. Tons of volume, tons of texture. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, make sure you subscribe right here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching.